Welcome architecture enthusiasts to a journey through the captivating story of Frank Lloyd Wright's masterpiece, the Taliesin House. This architectural gem, nestled in the picturesque landscapes of Wisconsin's driftless region, embodies the visionary spirit of one of America's most iconic architects. Originally conceived as a townhouse in Chicago, financial constraints led Wright to embrace the rolling hills near Spring Green, Wisconsin. Taliesin, meaning shining brow in Welsh, was born, a residence that transcended the prairie houses of its time. Wright's intimate familiarity with the unblemished landscape, reminiscent of his boyhood explorations, allowed him to create a sanctuary without limitations. Taliesin's initial design, with a steep approach and plans for a carriage court and water garden, evolved when Wright took charge. A dam transformed the stream below into a water garden, feeding fountains, pools, and terraced gardens. The house embraced the landscape wrapping around the brow of the hill, with stone paved terraces opening onto gardens on one side and overlooking the valley on the other. The choice of limestone as the primary building material was a departure from his prairie houses, reflecting the abundance of local quarries. The stone walls, occasionally featuring stick-out stones, blended with dark stained wood trim and cedar shake roofs left to weather a silvery gray. Wright's design principles, seen in the gentle slope of hip roofs, broad overhangs and long bands of open windows, harmonized with the region's hills and valleys. Taliesin An, Wright's first natural home, endured for three years until tragedy struck in 1914. A devastating fire, set by an insane servant, claimed lives and left the residents in ruins. Undeterred, Wright rebuilt and expanded, and Taliesin II rose from the ashes, an enduring testament to resilience. As Wright poured his love for the land into the design, Taliesin became more than a home. It became a living laboratory. The property grew to encompass a studio, school of architecture, and a self-sufficient working farm. Taliesin, like all homes designed by Wright for himself, was in a constant state of evolution, a reflection of his creative spirit. Fast forward to today, and Taliesin is a National Historic Landmark and one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the United States. Its preservation is a collaborative effort between Taliesin Preservation and the Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation. The legacy lives on through educational and cultural programs that provide a deeper understanding of Wright's architecture and ideas. Now, let's delve into the intricate design and layout of Frank Lloyd Wright's Taliesin, a masterpiece that transcends the boundaries of conventional architecture. Taliesin, true to Wright's vision, is not just a house. It's a carefully orchestrated symphony of space, light, and nature. As you approach Taliesin, the landscape itself becomes a part of the architectural narrative. The original plan, with a steep approach from the southwest, has transformed into a harmonious integration with the rolling hills of Wisconsin. The entry drive takes you over a bridge, offering a glimpse of the water garden created by a dam across the stream. This water garden, a testament to Wright's ingenuity, feeds into fountains and terraced gardens, connecting the house seamlessly with the natural surroundings. As you traverse the stone-paved terraces, you'll notice how the building embraces the brow of the hill. The exterior, predominantly limestone, features occasional stick-out stones, a nod to the nearby quarries. Dark-stained wood trim and cedar shake roofs complete the picture, while expansive windows and open spaces invite the outside in. Wright's design principles shine through in every detail. The gentle slope of hip roofs, broad overhangs, and long bands of open swinging windows reflect the hills and valleys of the region. Inside, the continuity of the natural theme prevails. Stone paved or cypress board floors lead you through a space where walls rise into the roof, creating a tent-like effect.
The plastered walls, a blend of raw sienna and cement, evoke a warm and natural ambience. As we step inside, the heart of Taliesin unfolds. The main residence, designed for Wright himself, features a living room, kitchen, three bedrooms, and two bathrooms. The living room, with windows wrapping around three sides, offers breathtaking views of the hillside, water garden, and distant hills. A stone paved porch extends from the living room, blurring the line between indoor and outdoor living. Adjacent to the kitchen, a corridor leads to bedrooms, with stairs descending to the lower level. While no plan survives, photographs suggest guest rooms and possibly the heater in this space. A covered passageway, or loggia, connects the residence to the studio. This studio, a sacred space for Wright's creativity, boasts a stone vault for valuables and living quarters with a sitting room, kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom. The loggia opens onto stone paved terraces, inviting you to soak in the views of the garden court and the distant Wisconsin River. Further exploration reveals a carriage room, provisions for cows, a milk room, and a second story providing additional living space. A balcony on this level offers a panoramic view of the courtyards below, showcasing the fluidity of space and connection to the surrounding landscape. Taliesin is not just a structure. It's a living entity that adapts to the changing seasons, a canvas where nature and architecture coalesce. Join us on this journey through the layout of Taliesin, where every room, every terrace, and every window tells a story of innovation, connection, and the timeless brilliance of Frank Lloyd Wright's vision. As we continue our exploration of Frank Lloyd Wright's architectural masterpiece, Taliesin, let's turn our attention to the elevations that define the external facets of this extraordinary residence. Each elevation, a carefully crafted canvas, tells a unique story of form, function, and the integration of Taliesin with the surrounding landscape. When we gaze upon the southwestern elevation, we are greeted by the enchanting sight of Taliesin wrapping around the brow of the hill. The limestone walls adorned with occasional stick-out stones rise from the stone bases, creating a dynamic play of texture and form. The roofs, with their gentle slopes and broad overhangs, mirror the rolling hills and valleys of Wisconsin. Dark stained wood trim accentuates the connection between the walls and the cedar shake roofs, weathered to a silvery gray, harmonizing with the changing seasons. Moving to the northern elevation, the stone paved terrace of the loggia opens onto a captivating panorama. The terrace, partially covered yet open on both sides, serves as a threshold between the interior and the expansive outdoors. Here, the integration of Taliesin with the water garden and distant Wisconsin River is evident. The long bands of open swinging windows allow natural light to flood the interior spaces while providing unobstructed views of the surrounding landscape. As we transition to the eastern elevation, the connection to the hillside becomes even more apparent. The house, seemingly nestled into the hill, opens up to stone-paved terraces and gardens. The rhythmic play of windows and the continuation of the stone walls emphasize the unity between the structure and its natural surroundings. The carefully considered design allows for a seamless flow between indoor and outdoor spaces, inviting nature into every corner of Taliesin. Finally, on the southern elevation, we witness the bold yet graceful integration of the farm wing. The road passes through this extension, revealing the functional aspects of Taliesin. The presence of a farm unit, carriage court, and a second, larger court demonstrates the multifaceted nature of this architectural gem. The careful arrangement of elements from the carriage room to the stalls for horses reflects Wright's commitment to both practicality and aesthetics. Taliesin's elevations are not just architectural features. 
They are visual narratives that encapsulate Wright's design principles and his deep connection to the land. Join us as we unravel the story told by each elevation of Taliesin, where every angle, every stone, and every line contributes to the timeless legacy of Frank Lloyd Wright's brilliance. And there you have it, a captivating journey through the architectural marvel that is Taliesin. Frank Lloyd Wright's vision comes to life in every stone, every window, and every carefully crafted space, showcasing a seamless integration with the natural beauty that surrounds this iconic residence. If you find yourself captivated by the timeless brilliance of Taliesin, consider experiencing it in person. Taliesin Preservation offers a variety of tours that allow you to explore the nooks and crannies of this architectural gem. Immerse yourself in the history, innovation, and breathtaking landscapes that make Taliesin a must-visit destination for architecture, enthusiasts, and nature lovers alike. For more information on tours, schedules, and how to plan your visit, check out the Taliesin Preservation website or contact them directly. The link is in the description below. Don't miss the opportunity to witness the genius of Frank Lloyd Wright firsthand and become a part of the living legacy that is Taliesin. Thank you for joining us on this architectural adventure. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content on iconic structures and the stories they tell. Until next time, keep exploring the world of design, and we'll see you on the next architectural journey.